Hey y'all, it's Megan again here on the Lawson Farm. Uh, went out to the garden, picked a bunch of cucumbers. Uh, so I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make old fashioned 14 day pickles. Uh, some people call them icicle pickles, 14 day pickles. I don't know, I think there's a lot of names for them. But yeah, so I'm gonna show y'all how I make those and I've got a little trick uh, to show you uh, cause I know you've probably had homemade pickles that are soggy. You know, they're just not appetizing when they get real soft and soggy. So I've got a little trick to show you um, when we get to that far to show you one way uh, that I have found to keep your uh, pickles crispier. So yeah, I, let's get started. Let's talk about a good pickling cucumber and a not so good one. Your cucumbers that you want to make your pickles out of, want to be you want them to be the smaller cucumbers. These are like the straight eights. Then I have your regular pickling cucumbers. Um, that's a pickling cucumber. That one's almost too big to be a pickling cucumber, but it is. Now, <clears throat> this right here, it'll be good for eating, but it's going to be full of seeds, so you don't want it, really want to have to make pickles out of that right there. So we just set that aside. We'll put that in the refrigerator to eat. So what you want to do with your cucumber, of course I've washed these before I started. Throw that out there. You want to cut the ends off. We're going to cut these in long slices. Like pickle spears. I mean, I guess you could cut them any way you wanted, whatever how you enjoy eating pickles. So we've got them in spears like this. You can still see the seed line across there. So this is my tip. We're going to cut these seeds off of here. I've made them both ways with the seeds and without the seeds with these 14 day pickles. And they do best as far as crunchiness goes to me when I cut those seeds out, especially if it's like a, a large seed line like these, this certain cucumber has. All right, so I've got all my pickles cut up or all my cucumbers. I have them right here. This is a ceramic crock. So I'm gonna make my pickles in that. You can make them in a pan, a pot. Uh, you just don't want to do like a steel pot or like a metal pot because the flavor can transfer. So uh, you can make them in plastic jugs, like if you say plastic jugs with a wide enough lid uh, that you can get your hand down in. So the next thing that we are gonna do is we gotta make our brine. So right here, I have a gallon of water that I'm bringing to a bowl and I'm gonna add two cups of cannon salt to that. Once that dissolves, we'll pour it in our crock. All right, so my brine's boiling. So now I'm gonna go take it and pour it over my cucumbers in my crock. I've already got them where I want them sitting at because that thing's gonna be super heavy once I pour the liquid in it. So I'm gonna pour it over here. You gotta make sure you got enough to cover your cucumbers. I did not, so I gotta make a little bit more. All right, so now I've got enough brine that covers the cucumbers. You're gonna wanna take a plate if you're doing it in a crock like this or even in a pot. You just gotta have something to hold the pickles under the liquid. Um, really, in all honesty, technically these are like a fermented type pickle. So you wanna keep them under the liquid. Put something over them. Let's see if I can lay this down. But you want to make sure at least most of your cucumbers are um, under the plate and under the water so that way they don't spoil. So um, now I'm going to take a lid and I'm going to cover it like that just to keep any bugs or anything like that from getting in there. And actually we're going to let them sit there for seven days. I'm not going to touch them. You may see some funny looking foam come on top of them. That's fine. Um, so I will update y'all in a couple of days and we'll look and see what they look like. But like I said, after you do this, uh, Brian, that's that's half of the battle right there because you know the name 14 day pickles tends to scare people. Well, for the first seven days after you do this part, you don't even touch them. So yeah, we're gonna let them sit. All right, so today is day eight of my 14-day uh, pickles. So they've set in that salt brine that I showed y'all earlier. They've set in that for seven days. 
So I just want to show you kind of what they look like. Remember I told you your water would get kind of sketchy looking. You know, this right here is normal. These little mold spots and stuff. That's that's normal. Don't let that scare you, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I've got my water on the stove, boiling in the pot. Uh, our next step today is just plain water. We're going to empty all this water out of here. What I'm going to do is take a pot and like dip in there and get as much of that salt water out as I can. Um, and then we're going to pour clean boiling water on top of that and let that sit for 24 hours. All right, I poured my boiling water in, got all that salt water out that I could. I'm going to return my plate and my weight, aka Coke can, back on top of them just to keep any of them from floating to the top the best that I can. All right, put my lid back on it. All right, it's day nine, so we're going to drain this water out and... Um, put alum water back in. All right, so I've got um, actually two gallons of boiling water here because I'm doubling the recipe, but you'll need a gallon of water and one tablespoon of alum, and we're gonna bring that to a boil and let the alum dissolve, um, and then we're gonna put that on top of our cucumbers. All right, guys, we're here on day 10. So today we're gonna make our pickling brine. So for our pickling brine, what we're going to need is 12 cups of vinegar, 14 cups of sugar. You can cut back if you want to. These are very sweet pickles, but they are delicious. 14 cups of sugar and um, a tablespoon and a half of your pickling spice. And I've got this big canister of it, or you can do like one of those little containers like they have at the grocery store. And you're going to want to bring that to a boil, give the sugar time to dissolve. So while we're waiting on our brine to boil, I have dumped all of my cucumbers in here in my sink. We need to rinse them off real well since we had them in that alum water. All right, so I've got my pickles back in my um, crock here. Got them all nice and rinsed off. I just wanted to go ahead and tell y'all to the alum step. Uh, make sure you do that just because of the crunchiness of the pickles. You want a good, sweet, crunchy pickle, and that's really going to help with that. So. Um, but yeah, I've got them in here, got them all rinsed off. Um, now we're just waiting on my brine to come to a boil and we'll add it to it. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do uh, for the next four days is we're gonna um, get our brine out, put it into a pot, and we're gonna bring it to a boil and pour it back over our pickles. On the fourth day, we're just gonna bring it to a boil and that's gonna be the day that we can our pickles. All right, so I've got my sterilized jar and I'm gonna start putting pickles into my jar. Um, I usually use pints just because we don't eat a lot of pickles in one sitting. So I just use pints. Um, you can use quarts, doesn't matter, up to you. All right, so I just take a handful up and down like that, put them in there, make sure they're all kind of standing up so you can get as many in there as possible and just start filling them up like this here. And just make sure none of your pickles are gonna come over the top. So like, see all these, I've got a few long ones, but they're like bent over. So uh, you don't want anything touching your lid to affect your seal. All right, so I ended up having uh, 16 pints and two quarts. So that's great. I ended up doing a few of the quarts. I know just a second ago I said pints, but I had some really long, nice pieces, so I went ahead and put some in quarts as well. So I've got my brine boiling for the fourth time, and we're gonna go ahead and ladle that into our jars. And you're want, just wanna, gonna wanna make sure you've got your pickles covered. You don't wanna leave any of them out in the air. And so what I'll do is I'll get them all filled up, then I'll go around and put all the lids and rings on my uh, lids and rings are boiling right now. So yeah, I'll go ahead and get all these filled up. All right, so 
So put my lids on. We're gonna hot water bath these about 10 minutes and they'll be ready to put up. Uh, we'll let them sit for 24 hours and remove the rings, then we'll put them up. Um, but yeah, that right there, that's your old fashioned 14 day pickles. Here's one. I hope you can hear how crunchy that is. They're delicious. Once you get to this point, you can go ahead and eat them. They're not like the dill pickles and you have to leave for like a couple weeks because, you know, we've been making these for a couple weeks. So you survived the 14 day pickles. Easier than it sounds. So uh, yeah, let me know if you try this recipe. If you like this recipe, if you've ever even heard of 14 day pickles, I'd like to hear from you. All right. Don't forget to watch more videos. If you enjoyed this one, I'll stick us a playlist up here at the top. And I'll talk to y'all next time.